I wasn't sure what I could say to you. I wanted to say the right thing, and I was really nervous that I, I wouldn't or that it would get picked apart, and I realized the only wrong thing to say is to say nothing. Meghan Markle is speaking out for the first time since the death of George Floyd. George Floyd's life mattered, and Breonna Taylor's life mattered, and Philando Castile's life mattered, and Tamir Rice's life mattered. And so did so many other people whose names we know and whose names we do not know. People all across the world have been publicly protesting against police brutality after Floyd died at the age of 46 when a police officer pressed his knee into his neck for more than eight minutes. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Now in a new message to the graduating class of Immaculate Heart High School, her alma mater, the 38-year-old Duchess of Sussex, addressed the state of the country. So the first thing I want to say to you is that I'm sorry. I am so sorry that you have to grow up in a world where this is still present. Markle reflected on a piece of advice that her high school teacher gave her when she was a sophomore. Always remember to put others' needs before your own fears. And that has stuck with me through my entire life and I have thought about it more in the last week than ever before. Markle, who is biracial, also recalled the 1992 Los Angeles riots, which she experienced when she was 10 years old. I remember rushing back home and on that drive home, seeing ash fall from the sky and smelling the smoke and seeing the smoke billow out of buildings and seeing people run out of buildings carrying bags and looting. And those memories don't go away. And I can't imagine that it 17 or 18 years old, which is how old you are now, that you would have to have a different version of that same type of experience. The Duchess urged her fellow alumni to be examples in the community and in the world. You are going to lead with love, you are going to lead with compassion, you are going to use your voice. You are going to use your voice in a stronger way than you've ever been able to, because most of you are 18 or you're going to turn 18, so you're going to vote. And she wrapped her message up with a call to action. You are going to have empathy for those who don't see the world through the same lens that you do because with as diverse and vibrant and open-minded as I know the teachings at Immaculate Heart are, I know you know that Black Lives Matter. So I am already excited for what you are going to do in the world. You are equipped, you are ready, we need you and you are prepared. Markle and her husband, Prince Harry, stepped down from their roles as senior royals on March 31st and relocated to LA with their one-year-old son, Archie, where they've been quarantining due to the coronavirus pandemic. But before Markle delivered her message to the all-girls Catholic school, she was already inspiring some of the students there. Who started the group Students for Floyd. What are you hoping to achieve through this organization? What are your goals? Well, my goals right now are obviously just going to protests and showing that we can get a large group of kids together to take action and make initiative. And then we're also leading a bunch of cleanups to kind of help with the aftermath of the protests, cleaning up graffiti, helping out shops, all that stuff. E.T. spoke with the 17-year-old founder of the initiative who said Markle has had a huge impact on her. I've been so inspired by her and also just my school community as well because everything that she speaks about and stands for I think was really instilled in her at our school. 